Today, President Trump marked the National Day of Prayer by announcing plans to travel to Israel, Saudi Arabia, and the Vatican. He also signed an executive order meant to allow churches to get more deeply involved in politics. But what's on paper doesn't match his rhetoric. Margaret Brennan has more on that. No American should be forced to choose between the dictates of the federal government and the tenets of their faith. President Trump's order falls short of the promises he made to social conservatives. Get rid of and totally destroy the Johnson Amendment. As recently as February, Mr. Trump said he would lift the ban on religious organizations from endorsing political candidates, a 1950s-era law named for Lyndon Johnson. But that would require an act of Congress. Today's executive order only signals to the IRS that it should not aggressively enforce the law, even though Mr. Trump and his remarks went further. This executive order directs the IRS not to unfairly target churches and religious organizations for political speech. Religious nonprofits also wanted exemptions from Obamacare provisions mandating insurance coverage for contraceptives, an issue a group of Catholic nuns took all the way to the Supreme Court. And we know all too well the attacks against the Little Sisters of the Poor. Today's order just instructs government agencies to consider crafting new regulations. A number of prominent religious leaders celebrated alongside the president much, today. Everybody. But others were left disappointed. Greg Baylor is senior counsel with Alliance Defending Freedom. And we do hope that the president and his agencies follow through on some of these targets that they've, they've identified and that they will end up fixing them. Scott, after reviewing the text, the ACLU has dropped its threat of a lawsuit, calling the order, quote, an elaborate photo op with no discernible policy outcome. Margaret Brennan at the USS Intrepid Air and Space Museum in Manhattan, where the president will be speaking tonight. Margaret, thank you.